Over the past 30 years, One Man from Preston has worked in more than 1,000 schools with the mission to help young people face challenges in today's society. Ross McWilliam has turned a double tragedy in his life into the inspiration to help young people grow. He is currently publishing his new Mindset book and is looking for a child illustrator to help bring it to life. I caught up with Ross to hear more about his story. The motivation for Ross's first book came from the heartache of losing one of his role models. Since then, he has launched a series of books aimed at developing the confidence of kids, moving on from primary to secondary education. I wrote the books um, seven years ago now, and my father was dying, and I wanted to create a legacy um, to, to sort of reward him for all the faith he showed in me, and it was my sort of time to, to put all the thoughts down and experiences and learn and education that I've had into a book that helped young people. Um, it took me five years to write it, and it was um, a labour of love. Sadly, my mother passed away two years ago, and this second book is, is in recognition of her contribution to my life. So this is about children's performance in life and mental health and all the strategies you need to do to get success. Ross's passion is carried out by his own physical and emotional health challenges. He believes that by using his experience of working with young people, along with his solutions to these problems, there is always hope of moving forward. Yeah, mental health is part of an overall umbrella of, of the Colton School's personal social health education. And sometimes, especially in this country, we work too much to try and test them and measure them. Um, but there's a large group of, 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 of academics and non-academics who think that the emotional development of a child, especially at a young age, when they start primary to certainly age 11, should be spent less time testing and more time developing, um, evolving, being safe and secure, getting an identity and a sense of belonging. Ross feels that some of these skills have deteriorated over the past few years. He believes that there is an increase on stress in both young people as well as adults. Part of the reason is social media, people compare on social media, people have access to phones and, and handheld devices when they should be really socially interacting, developing their skills and capabilities and emotional competencies. We're talking about mindset and mental health and performance with children, but I think also there's a lot of senior professionals out there who are sort of cross-checking the lives and thinking, you know what, maybe I need to be a better performer. Maybe I need to get things in context. Maybe I need some mental health strategies. The latest book features a new character for children to interact with. Along with the fresh face, Ross is looking to give a young person the chance to get involved. The new book's uh, The Amazing Journey of Katie Cutsworth. It links into the, the previous book of Cuppa. And it goes through six missions. The first book was all about colour images. And we've got a colour image on the outside of the book, the second book. But we wanted something a bit more, um, a bit more lower profile, where we've got some fine black and white lines that just are wispy type drawings that would add to the story, a bit of a contrast. So we thought it would be a good idea if we can get somebody, a young child, who might be interested in drawing 25 simple drawings of, of Katie Cutsworth as she goes on her journey. Uh, and then it'd be a nice added feature to say that we've got young people directly contributing to somebody else's enjoyment. Jessica Hay, That's TV.